Hi guys, it's Gloria with Lone Star Homes Kiwama. Today I wanted to make a video showing you guys um, how we use the fraction overlays in Matthew C. Epsilon. Um, this video in particular is going to be about addition and subtraction using the fraction overlays. Before I actually start, these are halves, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, and tenths. And I also have in this other pocket some sixteenths and um, eighths. Okay. So let's go ahead and start. So the first example I have here is two thirds plus one third, or it could be two thirds minus one third. Either way, the denominators are the same. So this problem is relatively easy to solve. You would just take this one and put it here if you were adding it to make a whole, or you would just visualize that you would subtract that one and it would leave you with one. But let's say that you had two thirds here and over here you had four sixths. Well, the denominators are not the same. So we have to find a common denominator. The overlays make it really easy by simply taking a sixth and a third, swapping them, putting the sixth over the third on the op opposite direction and then putting the half, or the, sorry, then putting the third over the um, sixth. So either way, we both come up with 18 as the denominator. Here on this side, we're gonna have 12 18ths. Over here, we're gonna have another 12 18ths. 12 plus 12 is 24, 24 18ths, or we have 12 minus 12 equals zero. So for this example, I have one half, and here I have two fifths. They do not have the same denominator. So I'm going to take a fifths overlay and I'm going to take the halves overlay and I'm going to put the fifths overlay in the opposite direction here. And then I'm going to take the half overlay and put over the fifths overlay in the opposite direction. So here we'll have one, two, three, four, five, five tenths plus four tenths equals nine tenths or five tenths minus four tenths equals one tenth. Okay, so for my last example, I have two thirds plus the one fourth here still don't have the same denominator. I have a third overlay here and I have a fourth overlay here. I'm gonna put the fourth over the third and put the third over the fourth. And then we have two, four, six, eight, eight twelfths. And over here we have three twelfths. So we could say that eight twelfths plus 3 twelfths equals 11 twelfths, or we could say 8 twelfths minus 3 twelfths equals 5 twelfths. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And I would like to thank you guys for watching.